Because I had to come through, push the wall, let them know it's good, you know what I'm saying? Last time I came in some idiot boy, I jammed their thing, you know what I'm saying? So we, that's why I had to circle back, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my guys, they're working hard too, so. Um, I'm from Toronto, Western Toronto. Growing up there was pretty lit, you know? I was, I was doing a, I was really active as a kid, you know, did a lot of stuff, sports, always outside. I wasn't really a gamer, you know, but I used to love this game right here, Mario Kart. GameCube was my shit, you know. Kind of happy to wrap this shit up, even though I'm playing real shit here right now, holy shit. Um, I played like a lot of um, basketball. I played a little bit of football too. Um, but those are the main, like, and a little bit of baseball. Those are the three sports I really did. Used to run a one-two track too, but that ended for me quick, you know. There's one reference I said in one of my tracks, um, Money the Motive, and I said, I think a line, old school shooter, Glenn Rice. Uh, like, I don't know if he, a lot of people probably won't even know that, but I remember, I remember that old school shooter, Glenn Rice, I had NBA Live 99. I was like in grade, I was like four years old, fam. Rice pump fakes, puts up the jumper, yes. And I remember I get my homie borrowed a game and I never got that back, like. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He know who he is too, man. You know what I'm saying? He gonna see this interview. My Live 99, homie, I want that Live 99 back, man. I don't care, bro. Like, I was always, I was always had an ear for, thing for music, you know, as, like, as a kid. My parents always played a lot of music, like different old school vibes, you know? From like African music to like R&B to everything, you know? Soul, a lot of like old 90s vibes, you know? So I used to listen to music and dance music like as a kid, you know? I like music a lot, so like, I was always part of music, you know? Fifth place, damn. I used to freestyle a lot. Like freestyle here and there with my boys in the, in the crib or like when we were chilling, you know? They always used to be like, ooh, that's hard. Like, you know, like, they're always showing love and shit, you know? So I was like, and I used to be around people that rapped the one too, you know? And I always see them in the studio and shit. So I'm like, let me take a try at this, start dropping some bars. And they head tops, get me. Do I remember that? Yes, I do, still. So, I did it on my iPhone 4 and, and recorded it and put it on SoundCloud. I wasn't thinking no studio business, you know, I was like taking, I, was take, I wasn't taking that serious or nothing, you know? I think it's still on SoundCloud somewhere on the internet too. You could probably still find it. I would think it was T-Dubs, like my name, on Instagram, on the, on the, before, before I started using Black Boy Twitch. If you go on YouTube, you could probably find that old shit, bro. Literally, I swear it's still there too. They always used to call me Twitch from when I was young, from when I used to play ball and shit, you know? I used to do some crossovers and shit and like freeze man's up and shit, you know? But like, I just added the black boy in the beginning, you know, cause like everybody knew me and shit. Like I was known all around the ends, everybody knew me, you know? So like, I just added the black boy in front of it that I actually bought. I went in a store. I think it was like, I never used to buy albums. Like my sister always used to buy albums, but I think the first album I actually went in the store and bought had to be DS2, Dirty Sprite. <laughs> Futures track, yeah. I, I went in the store and bought that shit. I think they closed on auto stores now, though. What, was, what did they used to sell the CD stores about? HMV, right? Yeah. I went to HMV and Von Mills and I bought DS2. Had to buy that shit. I was banging that shit hard. The melodies, like, before I never used to do the melodies, you know, like, I. I used to this. I used to do it like on my own time, but I never used to try and take it to the stool, you know. Like I was like, I used to be like, yo, I'm just doing spin straight bars and shit, you know. But then after like, I just started like showing my bro one two, showing the people around me one two, and just like, yo, you should you should fuck with this in the studio, you know, like this melody shit, you know, because that's what people really like nowadays and shit. He actually uh, messaged me, messaged me on the internet once. Um, and, he, and, he, and he said he was fucking with my track, Dodging D's. He really liked that song and shit, you know? R.P. my dog, Smoke Dog. I know Smoke Dog um, fucked with him the long way, too, you know? He used to play my shit and shit, you know? Probably showed him a one, too. And he was fucking with it, you know? And he ended up sending me a little, a, a few beats. And I ended up fucking with the Big Bottles beat, you know? Yeah, well, yeah, I was surprised, too. Like, it was so crazy, because when I was featuring over your sound radio, I was in the bin. I was locked up and my bro was showing me, you know, so it was pretty lit coming out to that, you know, knowing that you're on OVO sound radio and shit and you're getting spinned, you know, it was pretty lit hearing that, you know, and people are hitting you up, people are hitting me up saying, yo, you're on OVO sound radio and shit, you know, so okay, lady, you know, that actually made me see like people are watching, you know, people, people are listening to the music, you know, that's how you know, like if you could reach OVO radio, people in the city, you could say like, 
big artists and stuff, you know, they, they hear of your music and shit, you know, they're listening, you know, so you gotta just keep going hard, you know, keep, keep the consistency and keep dropping bangers and shit, you know, and eventually someone will come fuck with you. Yeah, you can expect that real soon. I don't have a solid day for you guys, but it's gonna be like getting closer to end of November or like early December for sure, you know, it's gonna be dropping, you know, so the wait, wait's almost done, you know, I'm sorry for holding it for everybody, you know, people on my neck and shit. This is a mix, a mix of everything, you know. We got, we got a little bit trap in there, you know. I talk real life scenarios, you know, like stuff that happen every day, stuff I see every day that happen to people around me, to me, whatever, you know, like. So I'll say like it's basically like my music is basically, it's kind of say street trap rap, like basically, you know. And I and I, so, and I have a one two for the gal them too. Don't get it twisted. So. Say I make music for I have a one two songs in in the vault for the girl them no worry girl them got something for you guys you know I used to try to make a home as a kid I used to try to make a home for for recess and Penny Proud um, those are two or two or two of my shows still those two for sure recess Penny Proud mm, I used to skip Kim Possible still um, <laughs> what else was there I think there was Zach or Cole you see life like that's when I started dying down you know Family Channel started getting weak. You know, but like Penny Proud, Recess, those are like my two official shows I always used to make it home for. And my background's African, right? I'm from, my parents are from Ghana, so I was into a lot of Afro, Afro beats, you know? Like what they call it now, Afro beats and shit. But used to be like High Life back in the day, they used to call it High Life. You know, like, but my pops used to listen to that old school vibes, like that Barry White. I always remember that nigga's deep voice in the crib playing, you know? That smooth talk, you know, that Barry White. Um, used to play all those old school tracks like New Edition, Marvin Gaye, all those, all those soul, all those soul music. I used to hear all of that rap music that I'm listening to because my sister, my bros, them, and the African music from my mom, my mom's side, you know, my mom and dad. So like, I used to basically just listen to a whole, a whole loop of stuff, you know, with my Duke, with my sister. She used to come, we used to, she used to take us to the movies a lot and shit when we were kids. We used to roll around with her and she used to be bumping everything like mob deep. Um, like she was like a gangster girl, like <laughs> Mob Deep. She'll have the C's for Mob Deep, the Jay Z, you know, like DMX. I used to hear all that rough music, you know. I'm in the backseat, like bumping my head and shit. BT's playing in the crib when she she was like a teenager, so I'm BT's on. I'm seeing the track. What track I always used to watch as a kid? Um, that Cisco song with DMX. What do you, what they really want from me? <laughs> I used to be in front of the TV watching that, like yo, look at these girls. Oh man, like. Shit was crazy. I like the track. I used to listen to all those tracks. So like, you know, if you see, if you come to my live show, it's gonna be lit, man. I just, I just had a show at Luxie's not too long ago. You know, it was pretty lit. The vibes was lit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went up there, did my thing, and I was like, it was like I, I I'm gonna have more shows in the future for sure, and it's gonna be like more morally like I'll have like way more songs I'll perform and shit. You know, like this one was just a like a little pop up performance. You know, even though it was my show, but. Like, the vibes is lit, you know what I'm saying? It's a turn-up vibes, you know, you could come out, you're definitely gonna bop, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna just stand there and just look around, you know what I'm saying? It's a vibe, girls twerking, whatever, you know, if you wanna see booty clapping, come come to my show, man, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you got a girlfriend, just be careful, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want uh, at least a couple of videos out, some more visuals and the tape, you know, for them, for them to hear. Cause you know I need to give them some more black boy for the air. You know there's not enough black boy out there, so I'm gonna be dropping more music. I have a lot of music to drop, too. You know I have more tapes, joint tape. How about one of my homies, he rap stack and see. We have a joint tape. We're gonna come out just us two. You know, so he's gonna start showing, showing more of his face, more, more the music. You know, so I have that. Probably do some shit for the girls for February. Drop like a little EP. You know, just a bunch of like girl songs more. So you know. Or talking about women and feelings and stuff, you know. So yeah, that would be good, you know. So females, get ready. Um, yeah, just make sure you guys look up for my tape. Tape is dropping real soon. I have videos dropping real soon. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be streaming on all platforms. So you guys look up for that tape. That's what I'm just gonna be promoting real hard these next few weeks. You know, doing a lot of interviews. I had to come through, push the wall, and let them know it's good. You know what I'm saying? Last time I came in, some idiot boy I jammed their thing. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, that's why I had to circle back, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my guys, they're working hard too, so for sure. Black Boy Twitch, you know I'm signing off. Shout out Push the Wall for bringing me up for the interview, you know what I'm saying? Came down, showed a lot of love tonight, you know what I'm saying?
Blackboy checking off. Uh, 